comments always liking always subscribing always sharing your in the vibe Ooh, pop Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Sebastian Mkize and this is my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are a regular, regular subscriber, always here, always clicking, thank you so much. If you're new and you're, and you're watching me for the first time, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please watch all the other videos, give me your feedback and subscribe because it literally costs you nothing and it will help my channel grow so much. Okay, all right guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, today we are going to be talking, or I'm going to be answering some of the assumptions that you guys made. So earlier this week, I posted a um, something on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, okay, at underscore, no, at litzva, no, at, <laughs> this is the Instagram handle, at lit underscore sva underscore blossom <laughs> i don't even know my own name follow me on instagram okay anyway so earlier this week i posted a shandis that i asked you guys hey make some assumptions you know just generally about me i didn't make it specific and i kind of regret doing that because i didn't get a lot of assumptions i got about 11 and i'm very grateful for all 11 of them that's why i still decided to shoot this video but maybe next time i'm going to do an assumptions uh about maybe a life in china assumptions about dating in china assumption i mean not that I am dating. This is a story for another day. Okay. Um, I don't know. Different assumptions about different categories. Maybe we will have more uh, responses. Also, we are almost at a thousand. So I think we're going to do a celebratory 1000 Q&A, Shandis. I don't know what we're going to do, but we need to do something fun. Let me know in the comment section. What should we do when we get to a thousand? Because you already know I'm, I'm manifesting that ish. I know it's happening. It's happening soon. So we got to start preparing ourselves for when it happens. Let me know what you want us to do to celebrate 1000 subscribers in the comment section. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's get started with these assumptions. Um, so I have all of them here. Oh, that's Dima. I love Dima. So the first one is oh, sis, you said oh, guy and guys. I still need to binge on you. I I still need to binge on more of your videos before I can even make an assumption. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, you know who you are. So that's really cool. Okay, the next one is you are in a relationship. <laughs> this is false. I am not in a relationship. Um, I've been single for over a year now. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm happily single, but I also want to start dating. And I just feel like the dating pool in Hefei, I haven't given it a chance. So we're going to see how it goes. The dating pool in Beijing, I'm for no I'm for, like, personally, like, personally, great. Okay. Um, the next assumption is you very clean. Okay, so you are very clean. Um, I mean, yeah, I am. I mean, I have my ways. Connie's the things I ain't really for me. Like everyone has that thing that they do, but you know, the general stuff, like I like to have a clean bathroom, clean kitchen, clean clean bedroom. Um but I used to buy I have like a really terrible habit of biting my nails. But I think she's talking about like cleanliness so yeah i'm very clean like generally gas sanitizer um um yeah i'm a, uh, yeah so yes that is true um the next one is you are very single <laughs> thank you for that adjective <laughs> okay i want to be something else but i'm very single <laughs> Okay, next assumption is you are very single and you love it. Um, I am single, like I said, so that is true, and I love it. Yes, I agree with that. I think 
I love it more this season of my life because I am really like step into, stepping into my own, really um, I know what I want, I know where my joy is and where I find joy from and where I draw joy from and when something disturbs that I can like immediately remove myself from it. So I think this season of my life of singleness for the first time ever, I can truly say I enjoy it. I think it's a season that needs to be fully like embodied and embraced because I think it's like, um, much like being in a relationship, it's also like a relationship with yourself. So I have really enjoyed being in a relationship with me. I don't think I did that enough in my 20s so um i mean i still am in my 20s i'm, t I'm turning 29 in december but it's my last year next year in my 20s anyway so yes i am very single and yes i love it that is true the next assumption is you prefer dating white guys nah, <laughs> guys why would you say, like what what caused Leo Assumption? Oh my gosh. Some of these are hilarious. <sighs> I don't want to bash because I've never tried dating a white man. So I don't know how it is. Um, but I do prefer chocolate. <laughs> I like my dark chocolate. I like my caramel. I like, I like all types of chocolate. Okay. <laughs> one is you oh this is a sweet one you light up every room you enter and she put a sunflower my favorite flower thank you so much um this is true this is true and i believe this because um and i can say it with my whole heart and soul because i like, like some of you guys know i am a christian and i believe that i'm the light of the world god has placed oh i have god inside of me um and everywhere i go i i believe Guti, um you need to bring joy and bring light and bring the change you'd love to see in the world it is my personality very pop yeah pop i think I'm generally like Kumundo Papayo, um, I, like you guys know already, uh, based off my videos. But I think light is so important because I think all of us have it. It's not even like a thing, Yoguti, no one, some people have it, some don't. I truly believe that we all have our light and it's just sometimes we find ourselves dimming our light for others. Um, and you know, there's seasons, like I went through a season where I dimmed mine and especially people I was dating or even friends. And then when I turn it up, you know, it, it really um, makes a difference, especially around the people that you interact with. And you realize that the people that are not fanning your lights or being like, yes, those are people you not to not be, you don't, you don't need to be around those people. Be around people who fan your fire, who, who, who like, you know, give you space sako and, and, and give you your shine. And now we do the same for others. That actually makes your light brighter too, I think. So yeah, this is true. This is true. Okay, the next assumption is, <laughs> guys, when I saw this, I was like, I was, I was expecting this one. You have a Chinese boyfriend. Lutum Tagababo. Lutum Tama. Luto. Luto, 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 Luto. Personally, but I just also don't find them attractive physically. And I know this is obviously like a, not a, I mean, it's a, it's a pivotal part of the relationship because you need to find your person attractive, like, well, to your eye. And then you're drawn into their energy and then you fall in love with their energy and their personality, of course. But they need to be easy on the eye. Oh, oh, what's it, Joe? Good. Hey, Angaz, guys. So, Angaz, I'm a China. I'm a China, Jay. Angaz, you. I'm a Jay. I'm a Yona. I'm a Gezi. I'm a Duga. Kuningi. Kalas Maning. I'm not the only one. Kalas Maning. Kalas Maning. Kalas Maning. The next one is you. Uh, this. The next one is you're one of those people who can't chill. Always gotta be busy with something. This is accurate. This is accurate. This is true. Um, not to say that I don't rest. I rest. I rest. But especially when I've noticed this, especially when I'm around people, 
um guko na bantu friends family i just feel like i need to be doing something anything wenzi wa ya bo ngibambe ping like definitely a busy body but when i'm on my own i've realized this when um i moved to china and obviously i've been staying um on my own I enjoy, you know, resting, but when I'm by myself, um, I feel less judged and less like, oh, la la la, let's cut. Remember, guys, comment in the comment section when, when you were young and you take a young nap on the couch. Come go 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 no mu and ito masana ila nga let's cut. Guys, it's wrong. So like resting on my own, really, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So to answer your assumption, this is true. Okay. Another one, you are single. My A, am I giving single energy? I love that though. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I'm getting gizen nani, but it's really, it's really amazing how like, I mean, I've never actually mentioned a man on this channel, so to be fair. But ni maning ni apalu you are single. I think there's like five you are single, so I won't mention it again. Sesias, sesias, the breaking news. Bate is single. <laughs> Your love language is presence. I think you love it when people give you meaningful gifts. Oh yes, this is true. I love the way you worded this. Um, love language. I think it's so important. This is a true um, um, assumption and, and presence and you know, not even like extravagant ones, but just like thoughtful um, gifts and thoughtful like, oh, I need this and in Kushiwe, I can't win out, kind of thing, like thoughtful actions. Um, um, but definitely like gifts and you know, I love beautiful things and love um, to show love like that in addition to other stuff. So absolutely. You have children. And they'll eventually come live with you. No, this is false. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? No. Guys, please take away this camera. <laughs> God, I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act. Okay, so this is false. I don't have children. I would love to have children one day. Um, and um, so yeah, this is a false assumption. Can't say more about that. Okay. You don't date outside your race. I have one. This is false. Um, I would go on dates. I would definitely go on dates with people um, outside of my race. I think dating is so important for um, the single season that I'm in. So I go on dates. Um, okay, but to be fair, I haven't been on a date in a very long time. And I think I've been doing that intentionally. Mainly because I just... This, 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 it's, been a, it's been a tricky season. It's been a lot happening, a lot of loss, a lot of uh, grief I had to go through. Um, also joys and highs. And I really just wanted to be in my bubble. Get um, But I do date outside my race. Yeah, I have been on dates with people outside of my race. Um, you're an extrovert. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> definitely an extrovert. Um, but one who's very observant. Who can also um, take a back seat and observe and and listen, um, but definitely an extrovert. Okay, guys. So those are the assumptions. Thank you so much, guys, for writing them on or for replying to this um, questionnaire or what is it called? Yeah. Thank you for for the responses. Okay, and thank you so much for taking the time to to respond on my stories. Um, next time I will definitely uh, just do a little bit or give it more time but I think this was fun it was a short one I had a few assumptions if you have any other questions I think I'm gonna do a Q&A on my Instagram soon so if you haven't followed me on Instagram definitely click my um, link in the description box uh, in the description box and it will take you straight to my Instagram page um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe cost you nothing we're on the road to 1,000 in this channel, okay? We are currently on like 800 and something, something. Asambin, asambin, it's a baby zebonk, baby zebonk, baby zebonk, man. I book ghost, they are my ghost, ghost, good. Mm. So, what time tomorrow? I book, get on my message. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Mwah.